Yeah, there's no easy way of saying this, bud, but the princess is not gonna be interested in you. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how much of a kosher warrior you are, that's a bad haircut. What's up, guys, and welcome to Jacksmith, a game that I know pretty much nothing about, but I've had a lot of you guys asking for me to check it out, and everywhere that I go, it's got ratings like 4.5 out of 5, 9.5 out of 10, 94 percent stars stars so many stars <laughs> so if it's good and it's a flash game and people want me to check it out then of course i'm gonna play it meet jacksmith a very talented blacksmith and his furry apprentice scout i'm a jackass blacksmith now it's making sense jacksmith enjoyed his job but horseshoes and hinges were paying the bills across the lowlands lived the royal plump feather family I really hope they have a hot princess, right? That's gotta be the goal of this game. King Plumpfeather and his wife Hildred have ruled over the land for many years. Beyond the Alpine Ridge lived a lonely wizard named Dudley. It's really more of a dragon name than a mouse name, but sure, he was obsessed with the king's beautiful daughter, Lillian. <laughs> I knew it! And there's the dragon! Using his powerful phoenix staff and a barrage of elemental spells, Dudley kidnapped Liliana and amassed an army of vile creatures and stole his pet dragon's name. The king set a reward for any brave soul who could save his daughter. Jacksmith, who desperately needed the money, packed up the forge and hit the road to save Princess Liliana. Wait, what? Jacksmith could craft a flawless weapon, but using one is not his specialty. He's going to need some help. So, are we gonna get the hot princess or not? Because it sounds like I'm just rolling up to a place where all these dumb young people trying to save the princess are gonna need weapons and then profiting off the situation. What do you see in there, boy? A, a bunch of things? What, what the hell was that? <laughs> uh, hello, sir. What can I do for you? You've called the local soldiers to your cause, click to take a weapon order. I am profiting off the situation. Screw the princess, I'm just in it for the money. Yeah, there's no easy way of saying this, bud, but the princess is not gonna be interested in you. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter how much of a kosher warrior you are, that's a bad haircut. Even for a pig, it's your money though, okay? If you wanna buy something, be my guest. This pig is a swordsman. You'll need to craft him a sword. You have four crafting stations in your workshop, First, choose this station to use. Okay. You can only craft swords right now. Click to start building. J just a minute, sir. Just, just hold your bacon. I'll be back in a second. Click this mold to create a long sword. You'll earn molds for other swords as you travel. Ooh. You first need to choose a metal. You earn metal ores to use later. But right now, you have an unlimited supply of copper to use. How? I know I'm a finger donkey, but how do I just pull copper out my ass? Don't ask questions, just fill the pot with potatoes and then wait for the copper to melt. You can also pump the bellows to make the metal melt faster. Oh, I would assume that means it's done. The metal is ready. Slowly pull the chain downwards to pour into the sword mold. I I'm guessing I want to do that now. If you pull too fast, the metal will spill and your sword won't form correctly. What if I go too slow and it's a little drippy? Is that a mistake? Should I be getting the drippies? It's my first time being a jackass blacksmith. How does it... Oh, it looks really good, right? I don't know. It's my first time. You need to hammer a sword to sharpen its edges. Click along the edges of the sword to hammer. All right. You can only swing the hammer 18 times, so try to space your hammering to make it all the way around the sword, but oh, okay. So, I wanna just leave a little bit of space, but I gotta try my best to get all of it. Yeah, I gotta get all that nice and sharp. Wouldn't wanna have an angry piggy. Good, oh, I got one more, uh, boop. Looks pretty sharp to me, even though I'm pretty sure you don't sharpen with the hammer. What do I know? I'm just a human. You build the handle of a sword by dropping parts onto it. First drag and release a guard onto the sword's end. What? Uh, okay. So, is this me trying to line it up? Do I just... Awesome, thank you! <laughs> Next, drop a grip onto the sword. Try to line up the parts correctly to make the sword more durable. Oh, so it is one of those games where you gotta get it lined up just right. 
and the keep saying you're awesome. I appreciate the positive feedback. <laughs> Next, drop a cap onto the sword to finish the hilt. Will do. Like, huh? That looks pretty good to me, right? I don't see any flaws. Uh, click finish to deliver the sword to a waiting swordsman. All right. Is it good? 100 forging, 97 hammering, 95 handling. That's pretty good. Oh, you really only got one barber around here, huh? You'll wait for three soldiers today. Take the soldier's order and start building another sword as you silently judge his fashion decisions. <laughs> what can I get for uh, another sword? Right, one more potato sword coming up. I'm right on it. The one thing that I know how to build, fortunately for you, is what you would use to save a princess, a dragon. Each weapon has two main stats. Power, how much damage it deals. Durability, how long it lasts before breaking. Better metals will create weapons with more power and durability. Right, okay, so we will be getting different metals later on. And the reason I just said a dragon is because I'm thinking maybe we can save that dragon from the wizard as well. Right, who's to say he's evil? Maybe we can make a whole bunch of friends in this. <laughs> Even though I'm willing to bet that the pigs are going after all that poon. If you hammer poorly, the sword won't have as much power in battle. Hammer evenly around the edges to get the maximum power for the sword. Okay, I think I know how to get it just right now. The spacing takes a little bit of experience. Now that it's not my first time, I should be able to measure it out. Oh, it's so close. Six, five. Oh, great. Good. Good. I got one left again. I'm so close. I need to be just a little bit more greedy with everyone. If you build the handle crooked, the sword won't have as much durability in battle. Okay, so that's where the two stats come from. So I need to get this. Oh my god, my mouse is so sticky. Don't. Just just don't look into that, okay? It's sticky because it's so sweaty because I'm tryharding right now and awesome isn't awesome enough. It's not awesome enough. It needs to be awesomer. It needs to be right. Perfect, perfect, it needs to be perfect. That's exactly what I need, okay. So how's this one? Did I do better? 199.98. Okay, I'll take it. And this guy was smart enough to wear a helmet this time around. <laughs> Craft one more sword, then it's time to go to battle. Well, luckily for you, I got infinite potatoes. I'm guessing since it's been really specific about the fact that I'm building swords, we will eventually get to make a bunch of different kinds of weapons. I have no idea what, but it'll be interesting to see. Oh, I think I got it a little bit better this time. I've been a little bit greedier, and I'm not gonna run out. That's gotta be perfect, right? It can't get any better than that. I just need to not screw up the handle. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gotta line it up a little to the left, a little to the right. Ah, uh, perfect, 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 perfect. Come on, come on, come on, perfect. This is it, this, for, the, for the absolute perfect, Sword, yes! Oh, come on, come on, that, that's that gotta be flawless. Give it to me. Yeah! <laughs> you are welcome, time is money. And apparently we don't have enough money to let me read that. What the hell, the soldiers are going to battle using your weapons, how well you built the we- Will you slow down? I need to see what's happening. I just assume I'm gonna collect those coins. That's how video games work. Monsters drop loot when attacked. You move your mouse over the drop and you collect. Okay, yeah, now you give me time to figure that out. <laughs> What the hell did it just say seconds ago? New enemy. I didn't need to know what that was called. Don't worry about it. You'll earn experience points when a monster is def Will you let me read something for the love of Christ? What is happening? I thought this was just some random blacksmith game. I'm not controlling them. They're just fighting on their own, right? And because I gave them some dope ass weapons, I guess they're able to defeat. These are the enemies that my dog pointed out earlier. My partner, my partner, not my dog. I don't even remember his name. I'm gonna call him Rufus. Way to go, Rufus. You pointed out these things that probably have nothing to do with the princess. You defeat all the monsters in a day's trial. You can collect the epic weapons design cards from the treasure. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's how we're going to unlock new weapons and stuff to sell down the road. Oh, I got an uh, epic weapon. Find a scroll for an epic weapon design. Okay, and we leveled up. I'm now a trainee. I like my little dog friend. He's kind of cool. Hopefully we can afford to buy him a haircut at some point. There's no way he could see shit. New weapon, a simple bow. Ooh, that's gonna be real different to make. I have no idea how to make a potato bow. 
<laughs> he just runs on ahead alongside the cart and what scouts out the enemies okay we got a slug dick uh two venus fly traps and a bat got it perfect great we'll be sure to let them know then oh uh, what in the christ are you skinny legs the princess may be more interested in you oh wait i'm not supposed to waste time right it's the time is money and i got a little timer next to me now okay so what did you i didn't hear what oh you want a bow okay and my designs should be in here armor piercing bow oh my timer better not be going down right now there's a whole lot of stuff you can see the parts needed to build this weapon and a check mark if you have the parts already you can see the bonus effect this weapon will give you here so plus five for all soldiers we need an iron simple bow as well as a grip and arrowhead and fletching oh this is different this isn't the potato bow that I just unlocked. This is something called the armor piercer. You can bookmark the parts to keep track of what you're saving or building. Okay, so we'll bookmark you and then get back to it because we need to craft you a bow. Oh, wait, somebody else just showed up. Crap. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll make a simple bow first. And you've collected enough to craft a bronze weapon. It's even stronger than copper. A limited supply of bronze. Okay. Yeah, so we'll put that in. We'll make a bit of a better bow. And, uh, oh, I can multitask. Oh, I don't want to multitask. No, 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 no. I want I want to pull this out because this is going to overheat and I don't want to waste the little tiny bit of bronze that I have. I'll be with you in just a minute, sir. I think it was a piggy guy, so he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be patient. Just a second. There we go. Okay, so this is good. We'll get back to this in just a second. What can I get for you? I like the helmet. It's very smart. You want a, a sword? Okay, and, ooh... That's unfortunate. That one kind of looks like a piggy ball sack. Well, I got one potato sword made and it doesn't look too bad. You can scrap weapon at any time during crafting, which will destroy that weapon and restore all metal and parts to your inventory. Good to know, but I'm running out of time. This is taking a long freaking time. 198.95 is not too bad, okay? And uh, let's finish this sword as well. Okay, we gotta go quick and I don't want to go quick because that's how you make mistakes come on come on no no okay yeah great just keep telling me I'm great I really need it ah crap <laughs> came up a little short oh right we've got new things like the xp8 and the xp13 let's give him an xp8 sure why not this thing looks pretty sweet I gotta get this lined up if it's gonna be worth anything uh Perfect, perfect. Oh, oh, wait, 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 yeah, put, put away, put away, put away, put away. We're gonna give you this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a real good sword for this guy. Ball sack guy deserves it. Great, we'll have to do. Great, we'll have to be good enough. That's pretty sweet looking, right? Ooh, I can't see, I got an achievement in my way. Ah, oh, come on. I think it was good, okay? I'm pretty sure it was good. Now, what do I do for this? You need to stretch this bow. Drag both arms of the bow upwards to stretch the string. Try to make it straight to earn a maximum power for a bow. Make it straight how? Just... Oh. Oh, I can't... Ah, I see. So you gotta give it a little bit of slack both ways. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Ah, oh, come, oh, come on! That looks pretty straight, right? Straight enough, drag one of your grips onto the middle of the bow, okay? And I'm guessing this needs to be perfectly aligned or else I'm gonna be in trouble, so something like that. I didn't get any feedback, okay. First drag an arrowhead onto the arrow shaft. Line it up with the arrow shaft to get maximum durability. Will do. I'm not gonna give him a fancy one quite yet because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, I can barely move my mouse. It's just cemented to my mouse pad. Ah, perfect, perfect, good, good. And then uh, fletching onto the other end. Of, okay, yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Not my first time. Something like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. One, one perfect arrow. <laughs> That's got to be a good bow, right? Yes! <laughs> Flawless bow! And we're packing it up for the day. I think I used all my time there, but they should kick some ass, right? I'm just going to drive along the distance and watch. Come on, you guys got this. You got this. There we go. There we go. What was... What, oh, it just, like, launched its head at you or something like that. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm just cleaning up the rewards behind them. I'm I'm honest to God. You can see Rufus on the roof. <laughs> We're just driving along and cleaning up all the stuff that they knock out of them. Ooh. They're, they're getting hurt, though. Right? They are taking damage. 
Good to know. So you guys could die if I don't make the weapons perfect. I made the weapons pretty much as good as I could. So you guys had better get through this and get me another epic weapon or I'm gonna be real upset. <laughs> I would love for them to finish off an enemy and for the princess to just pop out. And I just kind of wiggle my mouse over her and pick her up too. All right, I'll get the princess. Yeah, just you wait. Now kill the bat thing. We've killed plenty of bat things before. They're not that big of a... Did one of them just run off? I think the weapon broke and he run off like a giant puss. <laughs> no, 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 don't run off, Chicken Little, kill it. <laughs> Come on, you're gonna be kidding me. That was a perfect bow. Please, please kill him. Nope, nope, didn't work. You won't always defeat. You won't always get to read either, apparently. God damn it. <laughs> I wanted it. I should have put more into my work. I, I could have used some more expensive upgrades, but I chose not to because well, I, I kind of just assumed this would happen. You're gonna lose eventually, right? I feel like now is a good time to point out that I feel like absolute dog shit. Like, I I'm fresh out of Rufus, okay? I don't know if you could tell, but my eyes are real red and I feel super sick. I'm sure a couple of times in this video so far, I've used the wrong verb tense or just stopped speaking because I had to swallow or something like that. So maybe leave a like on this video. No, because I, I would have preferred to stay in bed rather than be a jackass, but here I am. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of fun with this though. A uh, new cannonball? Wait, what? Stuff goes by so quickly and I feel like we need to talk about the fact that our mobile forge just became a tank. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, mm-hmm. Good to know. Hello there, old bird. Are you the king? No, hello there, I've got some items that's nice. Over here, click and visit Gander's Shop. <laughs> That's a funny name for a goose. I like that. Gander's Shop. Oh. That's what I use all the gems for. Listen, dude, I'm real sorry that I thought you were the king. I, I know not all birds are the same, but I'm new around here and I'm an ass. Well, considering we did lose last time, I probably should spend my money on something. I just have no idea what any of these do. I'm gonna assume the bigger numbers are better, right? Like 75 for two hearts versus 80 for five hearts seems like a really good deal. So we'll take one of you and then leave your shop. Wait, your shop is my shop. You can't just set up shop in my window, dude. That's really rude. What's up there, Robin Hood? <laughs> you want a, a steel bow? Okay, uh, yeah, I might be able to do that. Simple bow, that's all I got, right? And you want it made out of iron? I don't have enough. I'm really confused. W what did you want? Wait, what did, what did he want? Even our feathered freeloading friend back here doesn't have any steel, so I just assumed that they both want a bow. Just a bow in general, which I can certainly do. We'll just warm that up a little bit and pour this out. I'm gonna give them two iron bows because I really don't wanna lose again. They might want the armor piercer, that epic bow, but I, I don't think I got the piece for it as far as I remember because we didn't kill the boss. So, oh no, stretch this out again. This is tricky. It's, it's, no, it's, it's just not a little too far. No, no, it's not. It's not right. It's it's not right. I gotta get it perfect. I think that's probably as perfect as it's gonna get. And we are gonna need to give you extra help, right? I just bought this, and I don't think it needs to be aligned because it's not giving me a score there. And you know what? I'll give you an even better arrowhead. That is a beefy arrowhead, so I definitely want to get it just right. Perfect, good, good, and yeah, we gotta also give it a nice bum. Uh, wonderful, that's as good as it's ever gonna get. That's the best weapon I've ever made, you're welcome. <laughs> and it's flawless, yes! That has to be good enough. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, no, no, no. Hmm, do I, I gotta scrap that, right? I'm not gonna get my metal back, Will. Oh no, we'll be salvaged and returned. Oh, okay, perfect. I just wasted time, but nothing else. Good, good. Perfect, and perfect. I don't even wanna know the faces that I'm making when doing this. It's, it's great, we're not gonna scrap it, send it out there. Hundreds across the board. If you guys can't kill what's out there, that's your fault, not mine. Craft all weapons out of bronze of a single day. Oh, that's what the achievements do. They give me, you can now fire troops for cannonballs. Wait, what? Oh, if they're facing off against something too strong, that's what my cannon is for. 
Oh, so I'm actually gonna help them. I like that. Okay, you guys are doing a great job killing these things. I'm not too worried about the stupid plants. I'm gonna fire at the bat. Right, the bat wiped you guys out last time, or should I save it for, uh, I don't know. We're gonna fire at the bat. Fire at the bat, got him. That did almost, oh, it recharges. I could have been using it the entire time. <laughs> fire again. Screw you, bat. Now for the spider. Yeah, giant spiders are troubled. Just, just, you just keep firing. Yeah, just <laughs> make it rain boulders. <laughs> Again, they're free. I, I don't know how I just pull copper and boulders out my ass, but it's fine. Yeah, everybody survived. Way to go, team. I, I don't really care. You could all die. I just want what's in the chest. <laughs> Please tell me I got an epic weapon. Right? Yeah, way to go, Rufus. I didn't even realize he was manning the cannon. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well, our apprentice is now a cannoneer. Pretty good, I think we've leveled up every single time. We got uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. New weapon, the double axe. Now we're talking. All right, and I'm guessing this is gonna be the end of the adventure coming up? I don't know, this, this map, I, I don't know how long the game is. I'll keep playing because Rufus is seeing bees and spiders and, and plants and a whole lot of stuff that we need to kill but I'm really interested in how much of a game is here. Well, aren't you the, the very Scottish looking sheepy boy? You actually look like a bit of a badass. And of course you want a double-sided ax. Yeah, that makes some sense. Is there anybody else coming? Get a friend right behind you? No, we're good. Okay, I'll, I'll get to crafting that ax right away, sir. What do you want it made out of? I still have a little bit of iron, but not enough. Okay, I'll, I'll go with bronze. We got plenty of bronze, then who's here? Oh, you, you you want a bow. I'm guessing the weapons are very creature specific. Makes some level of sense, right? You wouldn't expect a twiggy little bird to be swinging around <laughs> a gigantic battle ax. Gonna make sure that all of this is good. Heat it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Rufus, could you get off the roof and help me out, mate? I just realized that I called him Rufus and he spends all of his time on the roof. God damn it, I'm a comedic genius. <laughs> In my sickened stupor, I'm so funny, I love it. Uh, okay, hold on, just just a minute, sir, just a minute. Busy pouring, hold on. It was giving me some kind of hint as to make the battle axe and hopefully that doesn't go away because I have no sweet clue what I'm doing. You can wait right there and we'll take your order. We'll get that up and running. I'm all out of bronze, so you get a potato axe. Sorry about that. Now, back to you. What are you saying? Build the axe head by attaching all three parts to the center. Drag each blade and spike and release when it's against the center. Keep them straight to get maximum power for an axe. I have no idea what I just read. So, you just want me to get it, like, perfectly aligned? That makes sense, right? Something like that. Good. And something like uh, that. Sure. And I'm pretty sure that that's boiling. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, just, just, just a second. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, scribe it, scribe it, scribe it. Hold on, I'll be back in a second, okay? I can only do so many things at once. You need to build the handle for the axe. First, drag a pole and drop it onto the axe. Keep it centered for maximum durability. Otherwise, it will land crooked. Yeah, I got that much, okay. So we're just going to get it perfect. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> drag the grip, okay. Something like that. Oh, I'm surprised that was perfect. Wait, 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 put, put it back, put it back, put it back. We gotta give him the one that looks like a ball sack. <laughs> or a heart, you know, whatever floats your boat. Oh yeah, that's a good ax. Uh, uh, for a first ax, that's a good ax. <gasps> is it a hundred? I can't see, damn challenges, get out of the way. <laughs> God, that pisses me off. Uh, you also want an ax and it's made out of potatoes, so I didn't really waste anything last time. Actually, why don't we just keep this up and pour it right now? Get out of the way. There we go. Then we can move on to our bow. Or we can finish this. We'll finish this off. We'll get the axes done first because I really want to know if I built that one properly or not. I feel like I might have screwed up the middle, which would have been this. Not 100% sure. Oh, no. They don't normally give me the outline. I thought it was so easy with the outline. Oh, this is just garbage. Ugh. Okay, sure, why not, and, uh, I mean, it looks good, but it's really hard to tell. I see no problems with it. In fact, I see it as perfect. 
And uh, why don't we give you one of these? I really don't want you guys to lose at the end of the episode. So I'm just gonna give you the best I can. Uh, no, we'll cap it off with bronze actually, it's fine. That's gotta be perfect, that's gotta be flawless. Right, are you pleased? I'm pleased. 98% with the construction every damn time. How am I constructing an ax wrong? It seems like the kind of thing that you can't possibly screw up, right? If it's sharp and it's heavy, then you just throw or swing it at whatever you want to die, <laughs> right? Like with an arrow, I can kind of understand because if you shoot an arrow crooked, you're just not gonna hit your target, but you don't miss with a crooked ax. That's not a thing. That's gotta be flawless. I'm, I'm a good arrow. I'm a good bow and arrow maker, okay? I take very much pride in that. Now, let's roll out, team. Rufus is ready with our tank, and <laughs> this game is really fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's so stupid, but <laughs> it's made me giggle quite a few times, so I can't really complain. God damn it, those axes are powerful. Holy crap, they just put that bat down like it was nothing. I, mean, I guess it kind of helps that I know I can shoot the cannons repeatedly now. Drop them, drop them, drop them, yes! I would like to see them return. You know what, I would like to see return customers. If they survive, they should come back and maybe give me a bit of a reward. Or maybe just come back and buy something but not use it in battle, you know? I, I can do more than just weapons. I can build ornate figurines. Have you ever seen my strange little bronze dildo? <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? Oh no, oh, I'm worrying. I'm worrying, one of them just took off. I hope he wasn't the one with the expensive ax. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Kill him, kill him. Don't you run. Don't you run good. Now, only one left and something tells me you're not gonna get the job done. I crushed him, okay? You can, you can crush him too. This is over. <laughs> Rufus, is there anything we could put inside of that other than a giant boulder? Like, do we get some weed be gone maybe? Okay, no, goat be gone is all we get. Why can't we just shoot them from a distance? Why do we need these idiots at all? Doesn't make any sense. We can just artillery fire from the road, kill everything, and then walk up and open up the chest. <laughs> I really am just the stupidest ass in the world. Beware the pig roast. What the hell? Okay, this is kind of spooky, Rufus. Don't go too far. Here, boy. You'll start seeing fire enemies today in Cinder Springs. Uh-huh, like the three pig roasts. Oh, I, I just wanna read what it says to me. No, no, I'm not serving ball sacks today, be gone. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Jacksmith, guys. And surprisingly, I kinda wanna play more of this. Like, I kind of expected it to be a simple little stupid flash game that I could quickly play, get up, people would enjoy it because they've been asking for it, and then I could go back to bed. But it turns out, it's surprisingly fun, and I really want to see what happens in the end with different enemies and saving the princess and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like this video, show some support, that kind of thing, and maybe I'll turn this into a series. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.